Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Genus Academy. So guys, in my previous videos of this particular related to the turbines, we have learned about this uh, imposed turbine, we have seen the working of the hydroelectric power plant, also we have seen the difference between the impulse and the reaction turbines and the two reaction turbines, that is Francis turbine and the Kaplan turbine. So guys, now, right now over here, in this particular video, I am going to tell you only about this particular impulse turbine that is nothing but the Pelton wheel turbine. In this particular video we are going to learn about construction and working of the Pelton wheel turbine only. So guys uh, please watch this video uh, till the end and please do subscribe to my education channel Engineers Academy and guys uh, basically like uh, this particular my playlist of the fluid dynamics is only related to the like the different like topic different chapters in the fluid dynamics if you having any kind of question related to the fluid mechanics uh, you can comment and also if you want me to make a particular video on a your selected topic you can comment below so guys let's begin with the today's topic that is of the construction and working of the Pelton wheel turbine So guys, uh, in the previous video of the working of the hydroelectric power plant, that particular power plant deals with the Pelton turbine. Like, this particular Pelton turbine is an impulse type of the turbine and like the jet of the flowing water, that this particular nozzle is connected to the penstock. As you can see over here in this particular image, like this is nothing but the representation of the hydroelectric power plant in which the Pelton wheel turbine, that is the impulse turbine is used. So over here in this particular image, we can see a reservoir like in that particular reservoir is water is stored at the higher elevation like the higher potential head the water is stored and this particular water is allowed to flow through the penstock and at the end of the penstock there is a nozzle connected this particular nozzle the main function of the nozzle is to convert the pressure energy of the water into the kinetic energy it will increase the kinetic energy of the water flowing through it this particular nozzle will also have a provision it is having a screw assembly this particular and due to that particular screw assembly like we can increase or decrease the discharge from the nozzle we can increase the flow rate or else decrease the flow rate through that particular nozzle ultimately the water coming out with having higher velocity higher kinetic energy this particular jet of the water strikes on the Pelton wheel over here this particular Pelton wheel is like a circular wheel which is having the bucket shaped this particular type of the bucket is like a two hemispheres which are connected to each other and like at the center this is having a particular splitter so this particular when the uh, higher velocity jet strikes on the bucket like due to the splitter this particular jet divides into uh, two parts basically the main function of the splitter is to like uh, is to reduce the axial thrust produced by the striking jet it will neutralize the axial thrust which is produced by this particular higher velocity jet so when this particular water strikes on the splitter the water like divides the splitter divides that particular jet in two parts in two sections basically and the jet is deflected at about 160 degrees as you can see over here this is the like the representation over here as you can see this particular jet is deflected as between uh, deflected at the angle of 160 degree also this particular if you look at the construction of the bucket the bucket is having a slightly notch is provided on each of the uh, buckets so the main function of the notch is like when that particular uh, when, when that particular bucket is gets a slide or it's when that particular bucket starts rotating the next consecutive bucket should not be like should not get affected due to the well uh, striking jet so this is the reason a particular notch is provided as you can see over here so this is the reason a particular notch is provided to that particular bucket so as we all know this type of the turbine is a tangential flow type of turbine over here as we can see like the at the tangent the we are we are uh, like the striking the jet of the water at the tangent of this particular Pelton wheel the material of this particular Pelton wheel can be of the cast iron it can be of the cast steel also uh, bronze and it's some sort of the different alloys as well 
This type of the turbine is mainly suited for the higher potential heads such as it is mainly suited for the potential heads which is more than 650 of meters and the speed which are getting over here that is the specific speed of the turbine which is very much on the lower side. The specific speed can be varies from 60 to 100 over here. Also this type of the turbine is having the some sort of the casing which is provided. The material of the casing is which is very much similar to that of the material of this particular turbine blades or else bucket which can be of the cast iron, cast steel, bronze. The main function of the casing is to protect uh, the like the, the Pelton wheel from the outer atmosphere. Also it does not allow the water to get dispersed to the outer atmosphere like the water will be get collected at the bottom that is tail race basically. And also it is acts as a safeguard against the accidents basically. When this particular Pelton wheel starts rotating, a moment of the inertia which is occurred, which is induced in that particular Pelton wheel. So if we like, if we cut off the like the supply of the jet or a supply of the water, like the Pelton wheel also starts rotating. So to bring that particular Pelton wheel at rest, we need the braking supply of jet. So this particular braking supply of the jet is like it is like uh, exerted on the opposite direction of the moment of the bucket. Like suppose the Pelton wheel is moving uh, like uh, in the counterclockwise direction like we need this particular braking, uh, braking jet in clockwise direction. So basically it is like exerted on the opposite side of the bucket to make that particular Pelton wheel stop like uh, to, to stop the rotation of the Pelton wheel this particular braking jet is used. So guys this is nothing but the Pelton wheel turbine and basically this type of the turbine is the impulse type of the turbine which only uses the kinetic energy of the flowing water. Also guys let me tell you that this particular Pelton turbine is like a, is a invented by Mr. Pelton in 1880 he was the American engineer. So guys in this particular video we have seen the construction and the working of the Pelton wheel turbine. If you have any doubts or any queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my education channel Ingenious Academy. In the next video we are going to learn about this velocity triangles and the calculations of the efficiencies of the Pelton wheel turbine. So guys keep watching Ingenious Academy. Thank you so much guys for watching this video.